Unity developers have had a rough year, but they still got to get their jobs done. So I'm going to help out by testing Unity on my M2 Max MacBook Pro, my daily driver, the M3 Max MacBook Pro, and this beast of a machine, an RTX 4090 Core i9 MSI powerhouse. It's a game dev machine, but it's also a gaming machine. Now with Unity, it's not the overall compilation that really gets you down. It's the little things. You make a little change here. You gotta wait. You make another change over there. You gotta wait. I just wanna get my work done. <laughs> So uh, thanks to Patrick for helping me out. He's a Unity developer and he's actually sent me a few examples and a few scripts that we're going to be running that I've never tested before on this channel. And I'm looking forward to sharing these results with you. We're going to start by comparing small script compilation times. And Patrick shared with me this editor window script that he wrote that measures compile times precisely. All we got to do is drag that CS file into the assets folder and then we wait a little bit. And then we have that menu option available under window analysis and compile times. So now whenever I create a brand new script, the compilation time will be reflected right over there. I'm gonna go to create C sharp script, boom. And now it's compiling. We gotta wait a little bit and it's done. That was 3.5 seconds. Let's do the same thing on the M3 Max. Create new script. 3.1 seconds. Yeah, it's a little bit faster, but there's also variation between each time you do this. There's slight variation, and I've seen this go just under two seconds of variability. We're gonna check that out momentarily, but that's not a big difference in my book. Next, we're gonna do this RTX Monster, which by the way is plugged in, and it comes with this monster adapter for those of you that are wondering. Create C Sharp script. That one is actually quite a bit slower. 4.3 seconds on that one. If you're wondering where that noise is coming from, I don't think I need to tell you. The fans are completely off on the two Apple Silicon machines, but the fans are clearly not off on this machine. I ran that compilation one more time and I got a very consistent result for the M2 Max, 3.5 seconds here, and a faster time, sub three seconds, for the M3 Max, 4.2, consistent enough on the Intel machine. So that gives us a little bit of a glimpse of the performance of the CPU based calculations on these machines. What about that GPU? Well, for that, Patrick pointed me to the sample project that's HDRP, specifically timing, baking in the lighting for this particular scene, that startup scene. That's under rendering, lighting, and the first thing I'm gonna do is clear the existing baked data, make sure we're using the GPU for the light mapper, and then let's generate the lighting. I don't think anybody's gonna be surprised when I tell you that the RTX 4090 is actually faster than the other ones, but the M3 Max is quite a bit faster than the M2 Max here. M2 Max total bake time, two minutes, 14 seconds for this scene. M3 Max, one minute, 42 seconds, quite a bit faster. And of course the fastest Nvidia RTX 4090 at one minute exactly, really taking advantage of that GPU acceleration. Now just for reference, Patrick shared his results, which is a Core i7 Intel based MacBook Pro from 2019. Of course it doesn't have Apple Silicon in it, but it does have AMD Radeon graphics, which it uses. And that one took five minutes, 45 seconds to generate the lighting. But Patrick knowledge that he would probably do this kind of task on a desktop based machine instead of a laptop. Now what I've done previously for Unity tests on this channel, you can check out the videos, I'll link to some of them down below. I've shown you how long it takes to build the projects like this. Of course there are slightly different projects. This one happens to be the sample that I was talking about earlier. So let's see how long this is going to take to build. I'm going to go to build settings. Now right now on my Apple M2 Max, I'm targeting Mac OS and the architecture is both Intel and Apple Silicon. I'm just gonna switch it to Apple Silicon for now to see how long that takes. I'm gonna need a timer for this. Let's go, this is gonna be a clean build. Oh, got me again, Unity. I need to give it a name. Let's call it Build One. This happens to me all the time. I'm not a Unity developer. That's why I'm relying on people like you folks to help me out with some of the tests I do for you. So again, big shout out to Patrick. <laughs> And that's why I'm stumbling each time I do Unity because I'm not used to this. Scenes have been modified. Sure, let's save it and start. There we go, now it's building. The M2 Max finished the Apple Silicon build in 228 seconds. Good, bad, I don't know. How long does it take you? Leave a comment down below, is this faster? Now I tell you what is faster, the M3 Max. It's 180 seconds, and that's a pretty significant gain for such a small project. Now on the Intel machine, you don't have an option to pick Intel or Apple Silicon or both. The only options you get are Intel 64-bit or Intel 32-bit. So if you're gonna be building cross-platform games for more platforms, you kinda need a Mac to do the builds. Now the build on Intel for Intel took 
298 seconds. The Intel machine built for Intel, the Max targeted Apple Silicon, so we're gonna target Intel on the Apple Silicon machines. All right, this one left me scratching my head a bit because these two Macs built the Intel version faster than the Intel machine. 22 seconds on the M2 Max, 19 seconds on the M3 Max. And yes, I did do a clean build on this. For those of you that are wondering, there's obviously some pre-compilation that's going on that even if you do a clean build, some of that is reused, even though I'm targeting a different platform. And I did another clean build on the Intel machine and got 19 seconds. It looks like we're about even. I'd say the GPU lighting rendering advantage goes to the RTX machine, but the overall cross compilation advantage obviously goes to the Macs because not only are they about the same amount of time for their compilation, this is not a GPU process, it's a CPU process, but also they can target multiple platforms unlike the Intel machine. Finally, let's take a look at the game view. We're gonna stick with full HD here. And the default scene on my M2 Max is showing to be about 150 frames per second. The fans are really going on all three of these machines. If I spin around a little bit here, let's see. Yeah, we're, we're getting up to 170 frames per second on this M2 Max. Pretty smooth motion. The M3 defaults to about 160, so just a little bit higher frames per second. And we're getting up to 190 on this slightly less complex scene. Can we hit 200? Uh, uh, yeah, just just once it hit over 200. Now we're almost at 200 frames per second just sitting on the default screen on this RTX machine. So we're hovering around 190, 200. If I go to a slightly simpler scene, we're up to, wow, 280, 290, 300. I've hit 300 frames per second. Certainly a lot smoother on this RTX machine, but they're all pretty good. They're all not noticeable to the human eye. Very smooth. And there's some serious noise coming out of the M2 Max and the M3. The M2 Max is up to 5,500 RPM on that fan. Wow, Unity sure knows how to spin them up. And right now it's the loudest machine in here. It's beating out that Intel box. The Intel box is loud. It's consistently pretty loud. I mean, it's not consistent. It goes up and down, up and down. But if you're a Unity dev and you're gonna be using a Mac, expect to hear some really loud waves of thunder and lightning. No, just kidding. No thunder or lightning, just loud fans. Now I've actually measured the M3 Max and the M2 Max side by side. The M3 Max is louder, but right now, the way things are sitting, the fan's only reaching 3500 RPM, so it's not nearly as loud as the M2 Max. Unity devs expect some loud noises from these Macs. Now, all these machines cost me some significant funds. I have to pay for all these machines out of my own pocket, so I really appreciate the members of the channel. If you're not a member yet, there is a join button right down below. Thank you to the members. I've started releasing some separate content on this channel just for members only and more content to come for members as well. There's no obligation to join though. You can always subscribe and it's free. Thanks a lot for watching. I will see you in the next one.